Hi guys, this is RC from Avipai and today we would learn how to use the CSV file in the food ordering feature. So you have this upload CSV option here in the import export category here. When you go to the My App section, uh, when you click on this, you get the option to download a sample CSV file. Now that's the first step that you need to take before you upload one. Now you have to be very very particular about fields like the category name, the product title, the SKU, the quantity price which are mandatory in the CSV. If these remain blank, uh, the CSV will not be imported. And also ensure that you do not remove any column in the CSV. Now when I click on this, I get to a sample format which looks like this. And uh, I need to put in all my details in this format. Now for example, you have a category and a subcategory here in category you have continental and the subcategory category you have Chinese and you can give it an order if you want it alphabetically sorted then you put a 1 there or if you do not want it sorted just put a 0 there. Now give uh, the first product title here and the description of the product and then the SKU. The SKU is a unique product code that you give to every product. Now this has to be a unique number throughout the CSV or uh, it will you know basically overwrite the other number. So if you give F004 to another item here primarily this will overwrite that one. So ensure that your SKU is a unique number. Now give the product quantity here, the price here and uh, the status whether this is active or not so if it is active it's going to be one if it is not then it's going to be zero now this product here has an image here and you have to ensure that you give a path to the image and uh, these paths do not have to be a google or a dropbox but anything other than the two have to be an image path here for example we have given a path here so these are live images and uh, then in the product you can have variations wherein uh, you want to add to the pricing or delete from the pricing depending on uh, some uh, titles that you give it. For example, in uh, this particular product you can have a variation for uh, say fried rice. Now that's one of the titles for which you can decide the option title and the, whether this is a required thing. So if you put a one year, it will ensure that uh, you will not be able to process or upload the cart unless you have added this value here. So you have to specify a value here and then you have to specify whether you want to sort it. So these basically three lines are the differentiators between uh, the title and uh, the require, required field whether it is 1 or 0 so when it is required it is 1 and then you have to say whether you want to sort this particular one so if you want to sort it then again it is a 1 now to separate the title values so the first title uh, value here th that was a title that fried rice under that you'll have options so the first options here in this value would say sp a spicy fried rice and in that if that be the case then uh, you're separating it with so you're saying row title, row price. So then you're adding 10 rupees to the price and you're saying P. P is for plus. So you're adding 10 rupees to the basic price and you're saying option for sorting. So that you're saying, yeah, yeah I want this sorted basis uh, the number that I gave here. So if it is one, then yeah, I'm sorting it as one here. So basically under this title here, this title, I've got this value and I'm basically separating uh, the values from the title with these uh, particular marks. Now to separate uh, one value from another I'm putting these dashes. So this is one title and the first options are these where if it is spicy fried rice I'm adding 10 rupees or ten dollars and uh, the next option is simple fried rice then I'm adding 20 I'm saying P and then I'm giving it a sorting order and then I'm giving the next title. So for the same product, I have another title value, which is fried rice with gravy manchurian. So that's another variation. Now, for if that be the case, then again, I have to specify whether uh, this is going to be a required field, uh, how I have to sort it, and then the values for this particular field. So under this, you have values like medium spicy. So if it is medium spicy, the manchurian gravy, then you have to M20 which means you have to minus $20 from the basic price and then the sorting order. So uh, this is the parameter that you follow for entering all the values and the listing details. Uh, you give your product a weight and the units that are being used and the values and then if any images that you want to give to your category or your subcategory they've got to be here and you have to separate them with a pipe 
it's kind of a pipe here if there's a category and a subcategory so you separate them with a pipe and then the food type whether that's a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian so if you don't specify anything by default it will take up vegetarian here so this is for food ordering and uh, once you have completed all this ensure that you have not deleted any fields you've not made any changes and that the product names the titles the quantity the sq the price they are all put in because these are mandatory fields so once you've done that you should go back and upload the csv file by clicking on this one and it's done